Now, let's move on and talk about partitions of an integer. In the last example, we could tell the difference between the parts. Now, we're going to blur them. A distribution of n non-distinct objects into n non-distinct cells is called a partition of the integer n. I illustrate this with a partition of 38 into 38 parts. Since the parts are non-distinct, I might as well write them from big to little. So there's a part of size 8, another part of size 8, another part of size 8. There are three parts of size 8, and there are four parts of size 3. And then there's a whole bunch of parts of size 0. How many parts of size 0? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are seven parts which are non-zero. There's 38 parts altogether, so there's 31 zeros. You forgive me for not writing them all. And then we observe, it's not really necessary to write the zeros, is it? Because anybody can figure out how many zeros there are. If in the bottom line, there's seven non-zero parts, so there are 31 zero parts. So don't write the zeros. Again, we're applying our maxim to be selectively lazy. OK, let's take a specific example. Question? You have a point. You have a point. So probably I will change this slide by either adding a part of 2 or, or change the 38 to a 36. He's it's, it's dead spot on, of course. Everybody OK with 38 should be 36? Yeah. OK. Hopefully there are no mistakes on this slide. 6 I can handle. Partitions of the integer 6. So I've written the 6 a whole bunch of different ways. And don't forget that 6 equals 6 is a partition. In other words, you put all your objects in one cell. Everybody else gets no, none. So a lot of times students, when they first see this subject, they, they leave out that partition. So you 6, 5 plus 1, 4 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 4 plus 1 plus 1, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. OK, did I miss any? Did I, did I, did I, did I, I, I'm good this time, OK, good. Everybody see this slide? OK, now let's uh, put a little more information. There's 11 all together, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And I, I, I would have listed them all vertically, but I'm, I'm trying to fit the information on one slide. <clears throat> There's 11 partitions all together. There are three partitions in the two parts. There are also three partitions in the three parts. There are two partitions in the four parts. There are four partitions in which all the part sizes are distinct. Do you see them? Four partitions into distinct, and people say distinct, I mean distinct sizes. Do you see the four? Don't forget the first one. The first one, all the parts are distinct. If you deny that, you have to show me two parts which are of the same size. There's only one part, so it's vacuously true. So six, five plus one, four plus two, and then three plus two plus one. Uh, I guess by coincidence, there are also four partitions in which all the part sizes are odd. And people say partitions into odd parts. They mean partitions where all the parts have size, which is odd. Uh, 5 plus 1, 3 plus 3, 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, and the last one, all 1s. 